G. Gum. You know what today is? You know what today is? Today is National Bubblegum Day. That's right. There's actually a federal holiday called National Bubblegum Day. And that's today. So, so, uh, that's, that's why we're reminiscing about a hilarious saying from high school. Gee. Gum. That's what we always used to say in high school. It started my freshman year, so this was like 1987 or 1988. So, I was a freshman in high school at the at the hated Bishop Brossard High School. And we all started going around saying, saying that. That was one of our sayings. That was like the, for the next, for like the next six months or so, that was like our big saying was, G. Gum. Because it, it sounds like something, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like something from Sesame Street, doesn't it? Like when they would, like, the letter of day, like, they would have, like, the letter of day would be G or something. They would have, like, a, a segment that would say, G. Gum. That sounds just like something out of Sesame Street. And I think it was designed to sound like something from Sesame Street. And it may have actually been something on Sesame Street. But I remember it got started one day. We were in the, they had a bingo hall. And we were cleaning the tables. And one of, um... And one of the tables had bubblegum stuck all over the bottom of it. And and there's this one kid in my class, he made a big he made a put on a big show about it. And he says, Look. He points out at the table and he says, Look! Gum. And <laughs> so I think and then somebody said, That sounds like something from Sesame Street. Gee. Gum. <laughs> so, so for for, for months, we kept saying that constantly. And and I was in the... So I, I, know, I know it was when I was a freshman, because I was in the locker room one day. Somebody said it... Uh, I was in the... It was after gym class, and I was in the locker room, and somebody said it. And they said, you know what that sounds like? That sounds like something from the... From the... Uh, from the Lee Press-On Nails commercials. Because there is this Lee Press on Dale's commercial. I don't think they said G, but it sounded like they were going like G Lee. Remember that? <laughs> G Lee. And then the commercial it said <laughs> and, and they said, you know where G gum came from? It came from that Lee Press on commercial. Because there was this Lee Press on Nails commercial. It, and it was goofy. It was ridiculous. It was. It was ridiculous. And it would say, and it, and, then, and it was like, smaller size is what you mean. Remember that one? Remember that commercial? Lee press on nails. Gee, Lee. And in the commercial, they said, bubble gum. And that girl in the commercial bubbled. She did. But that's, uh, the, the commercial, it didn't say, gee, gum. It just said, bubble gum. And the girl in the commercial actually bubbled using bubble gum. But, um, so this was, that was like 1987 or 1988. And another funny thing, another funny thing that, that had to do with that, and that was like right before, right when we had like the standardized testing in the spring. Because, you know, in Kentucky, this is, since this is in Kentucky, and standardized testing is like the state religion in Kentucky. So one day we're in, and we had the standardized testing in our uh, homeroom. It was in the homeroom that that year so we were in, in uh, we were doing standardized tests and and I and it was the room was real quiet we were doing the test then I heard somebody go and you know these are like these these multiple choice tests where you'd fill fill in the, the fill in this little circles like a they, they would be alternating like one row would be a b c d and the next row would be like e f e f g and h and I hear, and then I was sitting there. We were doing the test, and it was real quiet. And then I, I hear somebody going, "Gee," like that. And I thought, I thought the next thing, I thought the next thing they were going to say was, "Go." I hear, I hear somebody going, "Gee," "Gee," like 
<laughs> I thought they were gonna. <laughs> it was some kid who was like a few rows behind me. He he was going to. Gee. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say. Go. <laughs> it was funny, but actually he was cheating. Him and the kids around him were cheating because they were they were um, whispering the answers. Like they were, and I hear and I hear him like going. But the first one I heard was, gee. <laughs> and it was funny, too. It was so funny. <laughs> you had to be there. And, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I was thinking the test, I'm thinking, why is he talking about bubble gum? <laughs> I just, I, I'm just out of the blue, I hear, gee. <laughs> so that was, um, and why is there a National Bubblegum Day anyway? You know, the fact that today is National Bubblegum Day. I, I think it's like the first Friday of each February, but I'm not sure about that. But but today is definitely National Bubblegum Day. So, um, the first time I ever found out that there was a National Bubblegum Day was when... Um, Okay, last year it was February 1st, so I think it is the first Friday in each February. But, according to the internet, they, they said this holiday was created in 2006. But I know it was around at least as long as 1982. Because the first place I ever heard of it, the first place I ever heard of National Bubblegum Day was on, uh, was on Yes 95. And the DJ on Yes95 mentioned it. So, so it would have been, I guess it would have been about 1982 when I heard the, the DJ on Yes95 mention National Bubblegum Day. Because he, he made like, he made like bubblegum sound effects. Remember that? And he says, and today is <coughs> National Bubblegum Day. And I, didn't, I wasn't even expecting, he just said it. So that's, that's the story of National Bubblegum Day. The, yeah, the DJ on Yes95, he says, Today is Pop National Bubblegum Day. And so that's the story of National Bubblegum.